we invited all those young, brilliant people to discuss with us the topic of the urbanization in a new world to come. We entered a urban millennium and we all know that to come to a sustainable world needs to come first to sustainable cities. And that's easy to say but difficult to implement. And therefore we are discussing not only in one direction that we are teaching to young people but we hope also to have some feedback to learn what is their experiences in construction of buildings in cities, how can we do it in an environmental friendly, energy saving, resource saving way to discuss mobility in cities. Is that the possibility for a world with nine billion people to go on with private cars in cities so you come to immobility in automotive cities? Is that a path? What is going on? So it is not a minor topic. It is the center of the topics we have to solve in our world. And that is the responsibility of an institute for advanced studies. We want to have a new type and new style of working together with young people. Not to go, as I mentioned, in one direction, but to implement all these contributions in a single answer with lots of differentiations. Fascinating and I'm looking forward to learn and maybe to contribute. You know, I'm since more than 20 years regularly going to Shanghai. I have a chair at the University, Tonji University in Shanghai. So I follow very closely the development of this mega city of the mega cities, if you want to say. Shanghai has this image. And I remember some 15 years ago when I discussed it with the Lord Mayor, he was absolutely convinced 70 million people living in Shanghai that would be the bottleneck, that would be the end. That is the carrying capacity of this region at the mouth of the Yangtze. And now we have already 24 million people living there with a huge energy consumption, 28 gigawatt, a huge, it's one third of the German uh, uh, use of uh, uh, energy, 28 gigawatt, with an emission per capita of CO2 of 10.7, that's nearly the same we have. So what can we do to integrate our knowledge in those city development also around the world, but also in proving that these procedures are valid at home as well? What is a sustainable Berlin? What is sustainable Hamburg or Munich or name them? And to look that we can contribute to a low carbon city, to a city with downwards trend of CO2 emissions. What can we do with a social inclusive city to avoid slums, to avoid gated communities, to bring people together? Berlin is a melting pot. How do we handle this? Do we have some experiences and maybe also solutions for integration of people from around the world. A topic immensely important for cities in the future. What can we do to make cities economically feasible? They are the places where urbanization and localization economies are giving a backing for a international competition capacity. So that is a lot of those uh, specifications we can come not only to a theoretical thinking in academic terms, but to go to Berlin and to learn what are you doing? Is that enough? Is there a better solve? Can we go back to uh, Ghana and ask what is going on in Accra? All these are the chances of such a summer school, only two weeks, but at the end of the day also having a network of alumni, having a network of young people all over the world and staying in contact later as well. Therefore, we are so happy that we can do it also together with our neighbors here in Potsdam, with the Potsdam uh, uh, Institute for Climate uh, Research, with PIC, and we can do it also backed by the Bosch Foundation, a very important foundation all around the world, with a lot of interest in sustainability in cities. So that is a good basis that we are not a one-day fly, that the people are coming and going and things are gone. No, we want to have it also in the perspective.